Eric, as we roll into 2018, what's this past year been like for you? The last year has been, um, I can't believe it's a, even a year's gone by at this point, but the last year has been amazing. Uh, I, I I had a lot of the goals that I had for 2017 in terms of I just wanted to, you know, my main goal is I just wanted to get a song on the radio. And to have um, my debut single go top 30 across Canada was the dream come true. Uh, and even to have, um, you know, to, have, to release a second song, have that go on the radio, like that that has just been a, an awesome ride. And, and I really got to thank you guys for, for your support and playing my, my music, man. Liquor's Calling the Shots, uh, that was your debut a song a few years ago. From that time of your life, Eric, until now, how have you grown as an artist? In many ways, for sure. There's a, there's a few things that have happened. I think... Um, having a song on the radio, uh, I think, was sort of a little bit of a validation of all the, the work that we kind of put in to get up to this point and, and uh, all the scary decisions and risks that we, we took, you know, um, which is really exciting. So it was not only was it motivating, but it was like in that respect, but it was also motivating in, okay, now I got to do it again, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know. Uh, and um, so... I'm constantly looking at ways that I can improve my own sound, improve my show, improve the experience for when people come to to watch us play. Um, And I'm also looking for for ways of how I can stand out in, you know, Canadian country music, right? So um, it's, it's been an exciting year and... Uh, like I, I, yeah, I can't thank you guys enough, man. Like it's it's super exciting right now. Has there been a country song or artist uh, that left a lasting impression on you over the years? Absolutely, um, and and this is probably more recent. A couple of years ago, I think it was 2015. I had a chance to play with the Brothers Osborne, uh, and and I'm I'm a big fan of those guys. I love their music, uh, and and it was the first headlining show in Canada, in London, Ontario. And somehow we got on the opening slot for these guys. And this is right before their debut single, uh, Stay a Little Longer, uh, was going number one in the States there. And we got a chance to know them before the show. And then after the show, we actually went out for went out for drinks with them. And, and uh, they took us on, our, on their tour bus and stuff, which was like a really, really cool experience. But but the one thing that I did, you know, learn from those guys, and, I, and I've learned several times since and from, from a lot of successful musicians I've met, is just the, the sheer amount of work gone into developing, you know, their brand and, and developing... Um, their sound as artists like it you know both of them have spent 10 years in Nashville before they got anywhere and uh, those guys are extremely hard workers they're you know they've sort of stuck to their guns over the years and and are, you know kind of just stuck to who they were as artists and uh, that's something that I think about a lot um, and overall those guys have had a huge effect on my life. Eric Etheridge uh, joining CFWE. A couple days ago Eric you had your release party for Making Me Crazy. How'd the night go in Sarnia? You know it was a fantastic night we had, I, I was approached by a charity in town, uh, my hometown um, which really aligns with what I want to do as an artist one of the things I want to do is spread positive change and, and, and affect people positively through positively through music, right? And so this uh, this charity, when they approached me, um, it's called CCMF, or Community Concerns for the Medically Fragile. Uh, they have a direct impact on people with very high medical needs, um, and, it, and it was something that was sort of close to home. So uh, it was awesome to have a chance to partner with them for it, and then every dollar that we raised went directly to that charity, which is really cool. Awesome. Uh, it was great that we had a packed night at, at kind of our, our hometown venue there, and what was really cool about it is when we played the new song, everybody in the crowd was already singing it, which is just like one of those moments where you're trying not to tear up while you're singing at the same time, I guess. <laughs> but um, so it's, that is just starting to happen now when I'm at shows, people are singing my songs back to me, which is just the coolest, the coolest feeling. So your next song on country radio right now is called Making Me Crazy. Tell us all about it. This song was sort of a happy accident. I was writing with one of my best friends in Nashville. And he had just broken up with his girlfriend, and he kept telling me the story about how one minute she wanted to be with him, the next minute she didn't want to be with him, and the next minute she wanted to be with him again. And he goes, man, it's making me crazy. And I said, you know, I feel like we should write a song about this. <laughs> Turns out that I did my radio tour for Liquor's Calling the Shots, and I started. I just played this song at like almost every radio station because I just really liked the song, and, and it was really fun for me to sing. Um, but then when I, it, it kind of got some traction on social media, everyone was like, when is that song coming out? Like, when are you going to release that? Is that the next single? And um, I showed it to my producer in Los Angeles, and he's like, yep, this is it. We're doing it. So uh, sure enough, that, that, that brought in Making Me Crazy. And uh, so far, the response has been really good. So we're excited. What do you have coming up in the next little bit, Eric? Well, uh, after I have one more show this weekend, and then 
December is, is a little bit um, more relaxed. So I'm going to be taking some time to plan for 2018. 2017 was a, a really busy year, really exciting year. And uh, I'm going to definitely spend some time with family over the holidays, which I'm, I'm looking, I'm very much so looking forward to. Um, but then we're, we're going to be kicking it into high gear first week of January uh, for 2018. I'm, I'm looking at maybe doing a cross Canada uh, acoustic tour. Uh, I got to drop. I'm going to drop an EP in April of 2018, and we got more songs coming down the pipe here. So I'm I'm uh, I'm ready to go, man. This is uh, it's getting it's getting really fun. She's making me crazy. 